Let's take a moment to affirm ourselves while we're talking about fear. And I want you to say it with me. I am more than a conqueror. I love myself. I love me. I forgive me. I forgive me. And I can do this. And I am not alone. This is another day and an opportunity for me to achieve. No matter where I am at this moment, it's still a new beginning. No matter where it appears that I have failed, this is a new opportunity for success. I let go of everything that have offended me. I let go of things that I've allowed to stop me. I do not accept fear to traumatize me. I do not allow fear to hold me back. I listen to the warnings that are coming and I move forward. I am not afraid. I am an achiever. I believe, therefore I can and I will succeed. This is my new day. Thank you for saying that with me. Thank you for it just come out of me at the moment. And if whatever you want to continue to add to these, just say that to yourself and, and make it a, a, a habit. You know, habits are just things that we do over and over and over till it becomes muscle memory, till it just becomes a part of you. Let something like that to become a part of you. When I say something like that, uh, for affirmations, prayers, motivation, just talk to you because it doesn't mean anything if you don't believe you. So I'm going to say to you, believe in you, believe in you, whatever you're doing this moment forward, no matter your age, whatever it is, it's still new and it's still you. Every new day is another new opportunity. It's a new opportunity. And as a great woman said, in reference to fear, fear is a conversation that hasn't happened yet. I think Lisa said that. Lisa Nichols said that in one of her episodes. And that's just a conversation that hasn't happened yet. Don't worry about what hasn't happened. And there's a scripture that goes with that that says, tomorrow is not promised to you. There, you know, and I don't believe that's the one that I was thinking about. Um, but nonetheless, that's a powerful word in it, within itself. So take the promises of today because you're here today. And as you arise in every new day, take that as every new beginning and every new opportunity and take the value of time. You know, Zig Ziglar, I think once said about a time being either an enemy or an ally. Take the moment with time and allow it to seize it. Don't forgive yourself if you feel you've wasted time, but you can't go back and get that. So let's not worry or allow worry is another form of fear. So don't allow those things that did not happen stop you from where we're moving forward. We're going to transition forward in this new day. So you keep smiling and have a beautiful day. And we're going to cover another part of this conversation again. Forgive me if I was all over the place. I didn't have notations. It just came straight out of my heart. But thank you for bearing with me. I love you. And I look forward to hearing your comments, hearing what you want to talk about in that reference to fear and, and just sharing what's on your heart and what you'll give me permission to post. Thank you. Be blessed. Again, Inspirational Cafe. And this is your host, Dorothy Parker. Hi, welcome back to Inspirational Cafe. As we get ready to close this episode, I want to encourage you so much to remember this, that you truly are worthy of your goals being met. You truly are worthy of being loved. You really are worthy of having that goal. 
No matter what has happened in your life, in your past, no matter what, you really are worthy of it. And as long as you know that, that's all that matters. So again, as I said in the first episode, forgive yourself because I had to forgive myself. Love yourself. I say that because I had to remember to love me when you have went through so many different challenges, changes. Honestly, no matter your age, you can be a teenager right now. Uh, no matter how young you are, you could go through so many things. Forgive yourself and know that you are worthy of a new, a new start. You're worthy of a new time. You're worthy of a new moment. And you are in control. You really are in control. You have to set the pace. And as I stated before, this is a Christian-based podcast. I don't like using the religious term, but nonetheless, it is. And even in those even in the Holy Bible, it talks about loving yourself first. So I really want to stay there and say that you have to love yourself, forgive yourself, so that you can see yourself where you want to be in that goal. And in those steps of seeing yourself, you have to believe in yourself. And in seeing yourself, you have to forgive yourself. In seeing yourself, you have to love yourself. So do a mirror exercise and look in that mirror and look in those beautiful eyes of yours and say that you love you. And even if there's an impairment and, and a visual impairment of any sort, then close those beautiful eyes. And in, the, in your mind's eye, if you heard me, in your mind's eye, say to yourself and see yourself in your mind's eye that you love yourself, that you forgive yourself, that you believe in yourself, that you respect yourself, and that your goal is worthy of being achieved. Again, we're starting small and we're moving one step at a time, just like the little babies that are learning to crawl. Let's start to crawl again with these goals. No matter our ages, let's begin again. There's always new days for new opportunities. God bless you. I truly appreciate you spending this time with me. Thank you. And I can't wait to hear these wonderful, beautiful stories of what you've achieved. I really appreciate the comments and I thank you so much. Have a beautiful rest of your goal day. Thank you.